Hey! What's up, guys? And we're back with another Catherine video. So it's getting kind of exciting now. Um, but yeah, we're back at the bar, which is the the funnest part of the game. Not really. But yeah, so <laughs> let's get started. We'll talk to our good friend Orlando first, because you know he he's always got the really interesting conversation. So let's go. He talks the big talk now, but Erica had a lot of problems back in the day. Remember that time she was hurt by a relationship and disappeared? Huh? huh? What happened? <laughs> I remember that. You know, people were saying she was dead, but then she just popped up out of nowhere. I never knew Erica had some trauma like that in her past. But I'll fill every hole in her heart. Yeah, I'll fill every hole in her heart. Hey, I'm serious here. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Always making fun of the... Well, he's not a kid. I don't know how old he is. Hold on, I'm just... Yeah, I'm gonna Google it. I wanna see how old he is. Alright, we back. Um... Toby is 23. I actually thought he was like 19 or something, but this guy here, he's 23, so I don't know why they're still bagging him. But then again, all of these guys are like in their 30s, I think. Including Vincent. Anyway, let's talk to him again. Yup, so let's talk to Johnny. Catherine isn't cheating on you. Why are you even doubting her? I believe in her. Who knows what's actually happening? Yeah, who the hell knows, man? Who knows what's happening? You're ignoring your own sins in the first place. But, but and why don't you break up? Huh. Well, if you're cheating and you think she's cheating, that's the logical choice. True story. Dude, don't just sit there getting angry. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm just tired. Sure you are. He's got some secrets too, guys. My head hurts. Maybe I've been playing too much Rapunzel. Hey, I got the top score on that right now. Once I figured out the trick, I got pretty far. You guys really like that game. You don't get why it's so fun, eh, Toby boy? Hey, that's mean. After I got the hang of it, it's just so addictive. Now you're the kind of guy who won't give up till you beat it, huh? Isn't everyone like that? Huh. I never give up. I always quit in the middle. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I always quit in the middle of things. Like when I'm drawing or I'm trying to learn a new skill, I always give up in the end because it takes way too long to learn it. So I always quit in the middle. Well, I don't know. Yeah, but you and Catherine have been together for a while, right? Uh, shut up already. Sorry, I need to take a whiz. How's Toby doing at work? He's fine. I can trust him to customize a bike without watching over him. <laughs> you should spend more time tinkering with chicks, not bikes. He needs to hook up with somebody good for him. Someone besides Erica. You're so good to the little guy. How about sharing some of that love with us? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, we got a message, so we should check that out. And also, someone came into the shop, or left. Uh, we got congratulations for the... So let's look at our award. Um, this one. Hey! Hey! We got a gold, guy. That That is so gonna be my staple now for this series, even though we're kind of nearing the end. But I'm so gonna do that on every level. Um, image. That's not too bad of an image. I mean, it's kind of, it's creepy-ish, but it's not really that bad. Like, it's not, it's not like, oh god, no. But it's pretty good. The baby one is the worst one by far. Anyway, what's the other message? Whoops. Get your phone out, mate. We're not done. Um, this one. Three times the cool. You've earned five gold prizes above normal difficulty in the Golden Playhouse. Here's a suspendable present, sus ugh, stupendous present for you. You can now challenge the third stage of Babel, the obelisk. The Tormentor, in attack mode. Uh, I'll be waiting. Okay, so that, that was the messages. Uh, let's talk to him again. I'm tired. I guess, I guess, I guess he's tired, guys. Not talking to him. Yesterday, I told my mom about Erica. 
Huh? Wait. What? Yeah. Found the one. Um. You don't say. Well, uh. Don't go overboard. Sure thing. All right. <laughs> we got another message. Uh oh. All right. Here's Catherine. This is our girlfriend, Catherine. Eat that piece of cake. <clears throat> Hold on guys, be right back. There's something in my throat. Alright, I'm back. I didn't I didn't really get the thing out of my throat, but I'll I'll have to <clears throat> I'll have to get around it. Um anyway. Eat that piece of cake I gave you. You or it's going to get stale. I know we couldn't talk much yesterday. I've been busy with work and it's hard to make time. I might not be able to pick up the phone sometimes. I'll give you a call soon, okay? Sorry I've been busy too. You surprised me when you came over so suddenly. Please don't come over without calling me beforehand. Sorry, I've been busy too. <laughs> I guess that <laughs> I have been busy if you know what I'm. <laughs> oh man. Um, but I have something that I need to talk to you about. Hey, did you see any of your guy friends lately? Are you really that busy all the time? Oh yeah, we're, she's cheating. We think she's cheating, so. If I would, if I thought someone was cheating, I would say, um, are you really that busy all the time? Uh, that's not what I meant. Maybe I'm just being weird. Sorry. Nah, I don't know about that. Let's try the other one. But I have something I need to talk to you about too. I'll tell you more later. I need to think some more before I do though. Yeah, yeah. Let's, this, this seems like something I'd write if I was kind of like scared. Alright, so let's send that, and then the other Catherine sent us a message at the same time, which is weird, but um, oh here we go, some good medicine, <clears throat> here's something that'll make you feel better, well, is it working, oh sorry for sending that last one while you were at work, I hope I didn't get you in trouble, anyway take care, so, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look at this yet, because you know how we can't look at it unless we go to the bathroom. So let's get up and we'll look at it and see what she sent us. Because it's probably a dirty picture. So let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> this is so what I would do in real life. Alright, so let's wash our face real quick. You know, because it's, it's a bit dirty and stuff. Wasting your time and come on over. What the? Okay, so let's go to the bathroom and look at our phone. Whoops, check phone and let's check this picture. <laughs> oh snap! Well, we're gonna be looking at that picture for a while. <clears throat> Two thousand years later. Alright, we back. I had a nice fap. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so she sent us a nice picture. Let's text her back. I told you already, you can't keep doing this. This is crossing the line. No. <laughs> wait, wait. Alright. Would I say nice? Oh, man. Alright, so I have a girlfriend and this other girl sending me pictures. Would I say nice? I don't know. I know that's a super asshole thing to do. I told you already you can't keep doing this. Nah. This is crossing the line. Nice. Wait, what? What? Like, did you dress up to take this? Have I ever mentioned? Okay, okay, wait. We're gonna say, I told you already you can't keep doing this. Please stop sending me these pictures. These pictures are going to make things really complicated for me. Alright, yeah, that's what I would say. Because it's not that I would be like, oh yeah, mate. But I'd be like... You can't keep doing that. Okay. We only first met a few days ago. Nah. Well, whatever. See ya. I don't know. That's not really something I would say. Oh, this is hard, guys. Alright. That was my choice. Alright. So, let's get out of this bathroom. Man, but you could... <laughs> See, I don't know what I would do in real life in this situation. Because the... The more mature Catherine, the one with the K, she's kind of cool, like, she's not, she's not fun. She's not really fun like the other Catherine, but 
at least she's sort of like someone you'd want to be with forever. Like, whereas the fun Catherine seems like someone you just have, you would never marry. I don't know, man. I don't know if I should. This is a difficult game. It's what it is. It is what it is, guys. All right, so let's sit with Toby, see what he's got. All right, he's he's just okay. He's into that Erica action. All right, this guy. You don't look so good. Todd, my boss, he's dead. Oh shit. No, he wasted away. He was talking about those strange dreams. Am I gonna die? Like in the rumors? If I don't wake up from this nightmare, am I gonna die? I, I'm having those nightmares too. I, I can't remember, but I, I see them. I knew it. She's the witch. She cursed me when I said I couldn't marry her. That's what those dreams are about. D don't worry about it. D they're just rumors. Why? Why did he have to die? He's such a good guy. Alright, here's another message. From that Catherine. <laughs> hey, is it true that you have a tummy ache? You're not lying to me or hiding anything from me, are you? <sighs> like, I'm actually feeling like I'm involved in this. This is me right now. Um, I'm not lying. Don't doubt me. Does it matter? I'm not lying. I've been really tired lately. I want to be... Oh, shit. Ah, oh, this is this is where the turning point is, isn't it? Hold on, let me just turn the heater on. I'm sorry if you guys can hear like a tss now, but I'm really cold. Anyway, this this kind of seems like a turning point where like, cause look what you can say. I want to be with you too. You wouldn't say that to someone you're just having fun with. Um. Well, <sighs> this is where this is where it's testing my morals in real life. So if this happened to me in real life, I would probably string her along. I know that's tight, but she could be the one. So I would actually test it out, test the waters out. I know that sounds extremely fucked up because you're cheating, but if something like like you you guys watching right now, you can't deny if your dream person, if you're dating someone right now, and then some other person that's way, like, it's just your dream person just comes out. You thought the one you're dating now is the dream person, but this other person is like, is like your girlfriend right now, but way better. Or your boyfriend, it doesn't matter. And then it's like them, but way better. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be like, I've been tired already. Come on, cheer up. I can't help it if I'm sick. Come on, cheer up. We don't have to see each other every day. I wish I could see you. We don't have to... Okay, hold on. I can't help it if I'm sick. Alright, yeah, there you go. Can't help it if I'm sick. Okay. So that's fine. Hold on, let me put the TV up. I'm doing a lot of things. I'm so unprofessional, guys. If you come... If you came to my channel for professionalism, get the fuck out, because this is not professionalism. Okay, so... We texted her. Let's keep talking to this guy. He's had a hard time. Okay, maybe not. You got mail. My head hurts. Oh, I feel really bad for the dude, man. You can tell you. He... Now I feel kind of sad a bit. God damn it. Ah, right, so this is the, the our Catherine. Did something happen? I hope I'm imagining things. Oh yeah, I'm meeting with a friend tomorrow. So if you want to call me, call me. Do it in the afternoon. Oh, she's meeting with a friend, guys. I don't know. Ain't you busy with work too? Try to take it easier. Oh, I don't know, guys. Um, sorry, it's nothing. Sorry, I'm just tired. Does it matter? Sorry, it's nothing. Thanks for worrying about me. Sorry for making you worry. I'm really stressed out. I'm gonna drink a little more here. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna drink a little more. Alright, would, would that sound like a good... Sorry, it's nothing. I'm really stressed out. Bye. I don't know. Thanks for worrying about me. Sorry for making you worry. Good night, Catherine. I'll talk to you later. Good night, Catherine. Yeah, good night, I guess. That's a nice thing to say. Trying to be nice. I guess. Because you can't just be obvious like, You're fucking cheating! <laughs> You're fucking cheating! <laughs> You can't be like that. You gotta calm down. Alright. So. 
We will talk to this guy. I like him. The rest of yesterday's story. Oh, sure. You're up for it. I think I was at the part where the ballerina suddenly had many enemies. She started to be harassed. Eventually, her entire family was killed. What? She took her own life after that. That's the truth. Alright, so he, basically what he's saying is he's the reason why all those people, her family died and she killed herself. So, it's not your fault. It's done, it's done. That's what everyone else says. But it still won't bring her back. Have I told you about that legend? That if you survive, you'll be granted any one wish. It's just a rumor, right? It might be a ridiculous fairy tale, but right now, I feel like I've got to believe in something if I'm going to go on. If I'd never written that article, she'd still be alive. I know what my wish would be. I'd change the past, save her. I was such a fool. But that's why I'm hung up on this stupid legend. Go ahead and laugh if you like. It's not funny. My alcohol tolerance is so high that I can't afford to get drunk anymore. Damn, that's heavy. That's heavy. When you can't afford to get drunk. That's how good you are at drinking. What do you want? Daniel, don't be like that. You're awful kind of Vincent. Why don't you hook up with him? I can't be with you, right? So everyone wins. Yeah, it's no use being with a man who will just become somebody else's. Uh, hey, hey, guys. <sighs> if you're going to get hurt, then why did you bring this up? Do you have any idea how I feel when I buy my clothes? I have to save everything I make just to buy handbags and clothes that won't embarrass you when we're seen together. I studied economics and etiquette every day just so I wouldn't embarrass you at an important dinner. But it's all pointless, because no matter how much I better myself, it'll never be good enough for some people. Anna. It was inevitable that we'd break up from the beginning. <sighs> I'm sorry I never let you give me any presents. I had to do something to keep my dignity. <sighs> um... Is that what you really want? Uh, this isn't about what we want or don't want. <sighs> Excuse me. Wow. Everyone's not having a good day, but we got a text. Ah, it's this midnight bullshit. Alright. The mysterious meter. Here we go. It's going to tell us about the meter. Have you noticed the meter that appears when you make a choice or say something? Hard to miss, right? Vincent's values are always being tested. His state of mind can change the outcome of the plot. The inner monologues he hears when in a pinch will be affected too. Pay attention to what he says. So if you guys have noticed, when when um, Vincent thinks, do you notice how one of the, f the sides flies up? That's the side that he's picking. Like, so all of my, all of my mind... Uh, fuck, I'm not explaining it properly, sorry. Every time he thinks, he's doing a blue thing. Because my, my meter is more in the blue. So every time he thinks about something, it's in the blue. So I'll give you one example. Um, you know when the, the Steve guy called? Since we were in the blue, he was like, Oh shit, Catherine has a boyfriend, oh shit. But if we were in the red... He, he would be like, I don't give a fuck. Like, he's more tough kind of thing. So that's what that's one of the things that the bar changes. Just, just you know, getting it out there so you guys understand better. Alright, this guy's still here. We talk to everyone. Let's talk to boss. You know, we never we never really talk to him much. When it comes to choosing a partner, the way men see things can't compare to the way women view it. I hear they even distinguish by smell, too. I wonder... I thought I was a sweet-scented middle-aged man, but Eric just said I have old man smell. Like I care. Yeah, anyway, as I was going to say, the hunter in relationships is actually the female. Female moose have males fight each other to win her courtship. When I saw that documentary last night, I was on the edge of tears for the poor husband. Maybe you can't be too careless for too long. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. It's a true story though. In the end, the women are the ones that have the final choice if they want you or not. You can't just get them. They, they have the choice. They control that. Um, let's see if we can talk to- Oh, the cop's here. I don't know if I want to talk to him. Are you 
Can I talk to these idiots anymore? I mean, my friends, not idiots. Psh, idiots. Nah, they're my friends. They're not idiots. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Orlando. Okay, I think everyone's gone home. Yeah. It's late. Anyway, I have to set things straight tomorrow. Oh shit, we didn't drink. Oh, Vincent, we're going home now. No. See you later. No, 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 no. I need a drink. Fuck that joint. I forgot to drink. Can't drink away this worry. You know the drill. Come into the dream. Did, did I just hear something? Great, now that guy's talking to us in fucking while we're drinking. <sighs> Catherine he mentioned wasn't her? What's going on here? <sighs> I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. It's said that chugging alcohol isn't good for you, but sometimes it's necessary. The cocktail Nikolashka is an example of this. It uses cognac, lemon, coffee, and sugar. But first, you put the lemon, coffee, and sugar in your mouth. Then you take a big swig of cognac. Of course, you can't even talk until you drink it all. It's necessary to chug it. But cognac contains 40% alcohol, so those with low tolerances should not attempt this. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty? Erica, I need a drink. You want something else? It's getting pretty late. Yes, I want a we whiskey. Yeah, whiskey. fuck it. You got it. Here it is. Thanks, girl. Alright. That's like my beat. If you watch my Skyrim videos, that's like my beat I made up. It's just. Can she actually be cheating on me? Can't honestly say there's no possibility. I'll just keep drinking, guys. Drink the pain away. I'm covering up my own infidelity. I don't have the right to suspect her. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about whiskey, now that you've emptied your glass. Gasoline is a liquid which is volatile and highly flammable, so it's just like alcohol, isn't it? Gasoline is fuel for automobiles, so would they run on alcohol? Actually, in a race in South Africa, there was a car that ran close to 200 miles on whiskey. <laughs> it seems like such a waste to run a car on delicious whiskey. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty. So we learned something. Apparently alcohol can fuel you cars. Pretty cool. Drink? No, we're drunk now. <laughs> Alright, so we should be heading out now. Because there's nothing really else to do. Except for maybe talk to boss or talk to her. So let's talk to her. Johnny and Orlando have all made women cry. Well, maybe I have. And maybe Orlando too, but not Johnny. Not true. He said he told his girlfriend that he has no intention of marrying her. How can a man tell a woman that? It's like saying, I don't love you. If that happened to me, I'd disappear all over again. Oh, I remember that. You just up and vanished. Stop saying I vanished. I was crashing at a friend's place. I remember that you guys were all worried sick. Of course we were. We honestly thought you were dead. To be young and thoughtless can be forgiven, but if you're an adult... Stop tormenting yourself all over again. So you guys really need to learn how a girl's heart works. A girl is always hoping someone will come and sweep them away. I'd be more convinced if a woman was telling me this. Ahem, sounds like somebody wants to pay their tab right now. <laughs> I was talk to boss. Women are hunting every day for better prey. If you take too long, you might be exchanged for the prey next to you, you know? True story. Alright, so I guess no one else has anything to talk about. So we will head out. Had a nice dr day. Look at us walking like a drunk. And time to leave. You're going home? Be really
really careful, okay? I know. Don't you think that everyone's acting, I don't know, strange lately? Not just you. I'm getting worried. You worried about those rumors? You shouldn't get yourself so worked up about that stuff. I don't believe in any of that. We'll see you. All right, guys. It's time, and I'm I'm almost like a hundred percent sure that I know what's next, and I'm not looking forward to it. The next levels are gonna be, ah, oh, you you will see if it's the one I'm thinking of. You know Catherine, right? Maybe it's some other Catherine you know. Honestly, man, I wouldn't be surprised. She's always meeting new people for work. Location. This clock has been in use since ancient times. From this point on, your skills will be tested by various puzzles. Bomb blocks are lit when you walk over them. And will damage nearby blocks. Yep, there it is. I knew it was this level. Bomb blocks. Yep, it's over, guys. I'm not getting past this level. And look how many levels there are. One, two, wait, one, two, three, and then the boss. So there's three levels before the boss here. God damn it. This is gonna be long. That's what she said. <sighs> this time. There's still more? Alright, there's a bomb block, guys. <sighs> this is gonna be annoying. I hate the bomb block so much. They make all the blocks around them into cracked blocks. So... Oh, no, I didn't want to press it. Fuck. See, watch. See? Now they're cracked, so you can't use them as good anymore. So that's why I hate them a lot. It's like the most annoying block in this- There are even crazier blocks later in the game, but the bomb blocks are just... Uh, you'll see what I mean. I shouldn't be doing it this way, but it's fine. I'm like knocking a lot of blocks over. Alright, uh, edge. Let's go. I'm trying to avoid the bomb blocks as much as possible. Ah, it's impossible here, so we're gonna have to take one of them. Alright, let's take you. Take you. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's not good. I don't even think I'm getting all the... Um... Money blocks. I don't know how to get that. Yeah, I thought I could, I, I could jump off it quickly. Ah, yep, this is gonna be a long day, guys. A long day. Alright, we're back here. Um... I don't want to really pull that one out. I'm gonna have to be quick. Nah, that's not gonna work. Nope. I don't want no exploding bullshit. Uh... How about this? I know this is gonna burst it, but... Yes, this is how you do it. Alright, let's get that. And that. Oh my god, this is stupid. There you go. Alright, so we'll, we'll head up here slowly. I don't know how to get those. Hold on. One second, guys. I want all of this. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Sorry, I, I just want all the coins. Oh, not like this. Get down, get down. Yes, my boy. 
Not like this. <laughs> I love those guys that say that. It sounds so funny. Not like this. Alright, um... Let's go like this. Pick that up. That was dumb. Yeah, that was dumb. We're not gonna do that. Uh... I c uh, fuck, I need it though. Need that. Dun, 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 dun. All right. I'll collect that quickly. Push it this way. Yeah, see how it cracks? Not good. Cause that's not good. Um, let's push you out the way. That should help. Um, let's push you over here. And use this. Not like this. Alright, perfect. That's good. Um, this isn't... This is going alright. <laughs> I'm glad that it's not like some crazy hard shit. Oh, this one's a bit weird. Push you over there. Uh, I think I am fucked. But we'll see. Yeah, I lost my score. But it's fine, because we can do the undo trick. I don't know if they meant... I don't think they meant that to be a trick. You shouldn't be able to undo to get your score back. That's a bit broken. Alright, this guy's not moving. Because fucking... I don't know. Something wrong with him. Um, I don't like these guys, because they, they can really, like, slam you off. Alright, here we go. Oh, no, he's here. Okay, good. Not like this. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I love saying that. It's so stupid. Okay. Beautiful. And knock him off. Nice. We're not letting anyone fuck with us. Not like this. Exactly. Okay. Oh, how do we get that? Can I just... Can I just do this? <laughs> it's kind of a bullshit move, but it worked. Um, actually, no. Push that out. We're gonna have to step on a bomb here. I'm not happy about that. Uh, we'll get this. Actually, no. I'm gonna try and get this out without blowing it up. There we go. My boys. Alright, then we're gonna go up here. Hey, I'm doing alright. Oh, I hear it. I hear the bell. You hear the bell, guys? Drake Bell, it's time. Alright. So, I don't know if I'm talking much. I probably am, but I'm talking gibberish because I'm trying to concentrate because this level is actually kind of difficult. Okay, here we are. Uh, let's let's use the push-out method, like in sex. Alright, here we go. And we're done! Yes! That wasn't too hard. I died a few times, but it was still good. Gotti. We got it, guys. We got it. Alright, I don't know if I got a gold, though, because I'm not sure if I collected everything. I probably didn't. I'm not, I'm alright with the silver though. So good. Oh, we got a gold. Oh, I got balls. I love when I get a gold. Makes me feel tingly inside. <laughs> I need a. I need. Oh shit! I fucking slammed my microphone there. I'm sorry if you heard that, guys. That was probably loud as fuck. Okay, this this place looks uh interesting. Let's talk to all these people and then end the episode off. I've been picking honestly. You know if I was lying, so I'm just going with how I really feel. What? Seriously? He asked me if men who want to cheat on their spouses are pathetic or praiseworthy. And since I think that men who bind themselves to one woman forever are boring and have no lives, I thought praiseworthy would be the right answer. <laughs> Interesting. I wish they were questions with definite answers, like, when's your birthday? Well, how's that gonna show anything? This guy's an idiot. That voice! It was my wife! You traitor! I'll kill you! That's what she said! I cheated on her, so she cursed me! Seriously? I didn't mean to. I mean, she asked me first. I can't believe this is happening to me! If you notice, guys, as we go higher and higher, the people are more and more fucked up. I climb and climb, but I keep seeing Anna's face, constantly hurting the one 
person that I love. Why am I alive? Why was I even born? Hey, are you alright? True freedom. It's the only chance I have left. True freedom. That's the only chance. Alright. There's another example of him saying the exact same thing. Alright, what what has this guy got to say? So this guy is obviously related to um Lucina. I cannot lose. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep going. Um I see you're safe. Let's talk about our techniques. We've all got to keep climbing. Let's work together and get out alive. This technique just hit me. Allow me to explain the timber. I used this one to get past the other level. If you want to drop an entire wall, leave a supporting block and push out all the rest. Then push the supporting block and the wall will all fall down in one piece. No, 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 no. Okay, I won't do that joke. <laughs> Don't you think it's useful? Oh, I just had an idea. You think of this. Allow me to explain controlled explosion. This one's really handy, guys. Bomb blocks are hazards that turn blocks around them into cracked blocks. But dark blocks can never become cracked. So use this property to make paths. That's just inspired. What a great idea. Oh man, I wish I thought of that. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Do you want to review the techniques? Nope. I gotta go. That was a really good one though, controlled demolition. Really good one. I don't know why the fucking cop is here. I never talked to him and he's still alive. Anyway, let's see what's here. Is he, really coming up with these stupid questions? Is he? Yep, might be. Alright. Oh, wait, whoops. <laughs> I forgot. I was gonna keep going. I was gonna end the episode here. What am I doing? <laughs> that was like a little sneak peek. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And later. Wow.